What is up everybody, Solomon here. Super excited to be with Genfinity at Consensus 2024. We are at the Hedera booth once again, and really excited to be kind of diving into Moflix and how they're disrupting the telecom industry. Uh, Stefan, I would love if maybe you could just give us a little bit of an overview of what uh, Moflix is doing within the Hedera ecosystem uh, before we kind of dive deeper into the weeds here. All right, yeah, um, Moflix has the ambition to, to bring the Web3 to the people, to, to really drive mass market adoption. Uh, and we have uh, identified that actually uh, an, a very good way is to actually integrate Web3 with uh, telco services, with, web, with wireless services. Um, and uh, together with Hedera, we have built a platform that actually allows that um, so that we can actually enable operators uh, to deliver exactly that. So that means a wireless service that embeds the benefits of Web3, you know, uh, be it having access, uh, be it about, be it about uh, data security, about privacy protection, about being able to actually benefit from the ecosystem. Uh, it's all inside, uh, simple to access, high security. Uh, and we deliver this as a, basically on a platform that is uh, cloud native based. You know? um, and uh, basically we deploy that for operators. That's fantastic. And Alex, I would love if you could maybe just tell us a little bit about how you guys feel that Web3 and technology is really going to kind of empower the people that are using kind of these, uh, you know, their normal kind of phone plans and the things that they would want to use. Um, yeah, so we really believe that, you know, people just have the choice. Let's take data privacy um, as an example, right? So um, how much information do you really want to give to third parties, right? That's to we want to empower people in a way that you decide how much you want to give and to whom, right? This is also why we integrated the decentralized IDs in the wallet. So every user will get a DID. Um, and also we're protecting them uh, in a way that we have a DID, which is a, it's a verifiable credential which protects your number. So in order to transfer your number to another phone, you need to be the owner of the wallet. You need to activate the wallet. And that's the only time that you can actually transfer your number somewhere else. So it's, it's, um, you know, it's protection and uh, empowerment of, of you know, your privacy. It sounds actually quite small to protect the phone number, but phone number theft is a massive issue in the industry. And basically, once your phone number is stolen, uh, for, you know, two-factor authentication gives you access to bank accounts, all kind of accounts. So it's actually a small thing, but major step, I would say, for the customers. SIM swaps have been terrible across this entire Absolutely. industry. Yeah, I have a couple of questions. Now, first of all, I've interviewed you both, and this is the first time we've met in person, so it's great meeting you in person. Um, I have a question. So when Alex and I had our interview, uh, you mentioned that you're going to be rolling this out in the United States. And when we explained that, you know, that you were going to have initial markets where you were going to be going first. But I understood that as you were going to only be available in those markets. That's not the case, right? So what is the case and how's this rollout going to look? Well, it's nationwide, you know, like everybody that has an address in the US can download the app. Mm -hmm. Actually, the biggest news is that yesterday we got approved by the Apple App Store. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's massive. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Apple App Store and Google Play Store get the app in there. You can download it and you just get going, you know. And Perfect. And I mean, you're getting, you know, a phone plan with this, right? Yeah, definitely. And yeah. you also have a promotion that's running right now. It where is. Where if you put your email to, in at fligsmobile.com, Fligsmobile you get for life 50% off your plan. Yes. yes. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be getting another work phone today. My partner's going to be bringing a work phone and I already have my regular phone and I have my plan for that. But I'm going to put Fligs on that phone. Right. See how it all works out. And then eventually change if you over. like it. <laughs> change over, and I'm sure I will, because it's just T-Mobile, right? So you have just as good a service coverage, as, as you the can best possibly network. want. And that's what I suggest, you know, people in uh, the Hedera ecosystem, in the Web3 ecosystem, if you have an old phone that you want to get service on and you want to test this out, do that first. Yeah. Try it out. It's with that half price discount for yeah. unlimited, it's only 32 bucks. And it goes down from there for limited plans. So you yes. can just try it out and you're all set. Absolutely. Good and stuff. And what's important to say, if you really like it, you can take your number because for people, it's really, really important to keep their number, right? That they have for 10 years or whoever. Mm -hmm. So you can take your number in yeah. a couple of weeks. It's not live yet, but <laughs> we, we are working on it. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah. One more thing. I was talking to a gentleman yesterday from Uphone. And he was saying, you know, they set up iPhones and they set up Android phones and all that kind of stuff. And he was saying what he wants to do is set up Hedera apps 
as the initial package. So you could have Fligs on there, you could have Hashpack, you could have games like Earthlings, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to create a whole new phone like we might see on some other networks. We can create a Web3 phone right here just through these applications. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the wireless server is directly installed on it. Uh, yeah. So, Perfect. I mean, it's, it's great. Perfect. I'm curious great from your guys' standpoint. I mean, we always hear one of the catchphrases throughout crypto, and, and, as, and as far as like t uh, technology that's just consistently innovating, is the killer app. What's the killer app? Um, I'm curious from your guys' standpoint, you know, obviously there's not, there's still very, very, you know, minimal amount of people throughout crypto, but there's, bil you know, billions of people with cell phones. The bureaucracies that have been put in place with some of these traditional carriers and the models that they guys have, what is kind of the market opportunity for MoFlix and, and, and what you guys are doing with Flags? I mean, is it, and, you know, is that kind of like a, just a massive market opportunity as far as, you know, all the people that already have cell phones and it's going to just empower them and all that stuff? I would love if you could just share your kind of insight on that. Stuff. Yes, I mean, there's, there's 8 million people on the planet. Almost everyone has a, a mobile phone. And just imagine uh, that we basically, we, equip, we could equip everyone, you know, uh, with access to Web3 in, in a simple and a secure way. I think that's a path that we and other operators uh, can take uh, to make it mass market. Yes, there is, a, there, there is um, a big market. There is room for disruption for operators who adopt early, right? I mean, telco services, wireless services, it's a commodity. It's, not, it's, it's uh, very competitive, right? It's a commodity. So differentiation is difficult. Now, packaging Web3 into the cell plan with tokenized rewards on top to get uh, customer engagement going, with rewards in coins, you know, so that people participate in, in, the, in the entire space also financially. I think it's a disruptive move. 100%. And I mean, I guess the last question that I have is why Hedera? And uh, are we going to see Hedera rewards coming soon? I know you guys have Bitcoin rewards. Uh, um, we have uh, Hedera uh, rewards. A, okay. <laughs> uh, we leave it. Uh, basically, well, yeah, uh, Bitcoin rewards is basically what we put in the forefront. But of course, there is HBAR rewards. Customer chooses. So there is awesome. a, there is a, and if somebody is not necessarily keen on having the fluctuation of the value, uh, there's still, there's a USDC as well. Which so they, so those three, which uh, they can deal with inflation then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> exactly. uh, so, yeah, we want to be. I mean, we want to be customer centric. I mean, there, there's you know, uh, and of course also to cater to the um, Hedera community. That's why we also want to have the H bars inside, um, of course. And the technology of Hedera. Uh, how did you guys kind of come to that decision? That I mean, they're they enterprise grade. You know, that's one. Uh, I Super think efficient. The, uh, efficiency no is very high. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think that's very important to us. Yeah. Um, and I mean, they have proven uh, how capable they are uh, yeah. in helping us as well uh, put the, the proposition in place that we have developed. So also, chapeau and, uh, and thanks a lot for the support that we got. So I think it's a great partnership. And by the way, uh, what we also like is that uh, the governing council, right, is, is, is a public one. It's, it's not, we, we, you know who's actually steering the wheel. Uh, and I, we think that's a great benefit of, uh, of Hedera. Awesome. Well, Stefan and uh, Alex, it's been such a pleasure. And Brandon, uh, for helping out with this interview. Congratulations uh, on the launch of Flags Mobile. As Brandon mentioned, he's going to go check out the plans today. I think I'm going to do, do the same. Do it as well. Do it as well. There's no commitment. There's no trick. You need to test it as well. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Guys. So, <laughs> thank you.